What about the camera work on this movie? Uh, well, I think that both the camera work and the sets are uh, very closely integrated and that um, my guess is that everything was shot in the studio. They didn't go out on any locations uh, to, uh, in the interest of authenticity because uh, the, uh, the Rouen that uh, existed in uh, 1928 was obviously very different from the uh, medieval town that uh, uh, the events took place in. But also I, I suspect that that wasn't what either Drea or um, I, I, I think the uh, cameraman was uh, a man called Rudolf Marte who uh, later went out to Hollywood and had quite a, a successful career there um, and, and obviously the set designer was in the same uh, uh, working in the same direction uh, providing these uh, open and rather spacious sets with um, a great deal of white and light um, against which uh, the faces, which after all are the main feature of the film, uh, stood out very clearly and prominently. Uh, and and uh, that uh, the, uh, the square at Rouen uh, was constructed on the studio back lot. Uh, and uh, so that uh, Dreyer and his, 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 his set designer and, and uh, Rudolf Marte had uh, complete control of all the elements, uh, unlike where, uh, in some cases where they've used historical settings, uh, they are restricted in the uh, uh, angles that they can shoot because if you move your camera a few feet right or left you get a horrible modern skyscraper. But this was all, uh, as I say, I think very well, very carefully and, and very effectively designed by the, uh, those three.